guys. So I have this picture of my son's cat. This is our cat, and this is a neighborhood cat that comes to stand in our window and stare at our cat. <laughs> and it makes our cat go nuts, and he's always meowing at him. So I took these two photos and thought that I would scrapbook them for my son's um, cat's scrapbook. And so I've got uh, the basic gray Max and Whiskers collection, which is really old, but um, I've been hanging on to it, and I love this collection. So I'm going to go ahead and scrapbook these two pictures and I'll put you on fast forward. Okay, so it's been a while since I recorded this, so I'm gonna to try to remember everything that I was doing. Um, and it's really early in the morning, so you have to excuse me if I sound a little groggy. I decided to use this cute little cartoon, cartoony kitty cat um, paper as my background. So I chose a solid, or almost solid, dark chocolate color piece of paper as the main part of my page. And I'm trimming down the white borders on my photos right now because I printed it with borders and they came out too thick. So I'm just I'm just trimming those down a little bit. And this collection comes with a lot of stickers and chipboard stickers. And there were a lot of cute little embellishments to use with it. So it was kind of fun to make this page. So I'm just gluing down the paper where I want it. And my photo is going to go on the right hand side right there and I've got a border sticker that I'm going to put up at the top and I'm going to kind of frame the photos in that chocolate colored paper um, but first I want to mat the photos and I'm using this paper that looks like it's been scratched it looks like I don't to me it looks like cat scratches <laughs> on a wall or something and that's what I'm going to use as my photo mat now I'm going to need something down at the bottom so I'm looking and I, I'm looking for like another border sticker or something that I can use down there. But nothing really seemed to work. So I am going to decide to cut the paper, com or the collection comes with a piece of paper that has a whole bunch of little borders. And I just decided to cut one of those off and use those instead of the stickers. And the one I chose is really cute. It's orange with little paw prints on it. That one. I love that. So I just have to trim off the white a little bit because I didn't trim it really well on my trimmer. My trimmer's not real good for detailed trimming. Like it's really good for doing big cuts, but it's not very good for detailed stuff. So I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi Glue just to glue down that border strip. And now I'm just cutting off the branding strip off of the background paper. So now I've got like a little frame for my picture. And I know that I want to do something down on the bottom below the um, the little border strip. And so I've decided to use my new banner punch and make a little banner going across the bottom. So I'm just going to choose a couple of different papers. And I chose two different papers so that, so that I could use both sides of each paper. So I'll have four different patterns in my banner. And I started to lay them out just like this. But you see how they just kind of... I don't know, they just kind of disappear into the background because it's so busy. So in a moment, I'm going to look for something to back it with so that the little banners will stick out a little more or stand out a little more. So I chose this orange piece of paper, and I'm just going to trim it down a little bit so that it fits better. And I couldn't find my pencil, so I was using a marker to, um, to mark where to cut. Oh, and when I cut it, for some reason my trimmer is cutting paper and the paper has like a rough edge and it's white and you can see it really badly. So I, I had to distress the edges a little bit with ink just to make the white go away. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm dealing with allergies here. <laughs> so I wanted my banner, my little banner flags to stand out. And I didn't want to outline them per se, but I wanted them to be defined. So what I'm doing is drawing around the banners with my, um, what is that pen called? I think it's a Zig Writer. So I'm just outlining around each one of the banner flags and that gives it a really defined edge. And it's a little, um, I would say it's a little more defined than if you were to distress the edges with a ink blender tool. So I lay out my banners here and I'm going to glue them down, but then I'm going to decide to go back and pop them up with pop dots. So I'm just going to take some pop dots and put them under the 
like the bottom part of the little banner flags just to make the bottom part stand up a little bit. I didn't really like them laying flat on the page like that. It didn't, it just didn't have enough dimension or something and it was boring. So <laughs> nobody wants a boring page. <clears throat> So I stuck them under there and didn't peel off the paper, and then I decided that I wanted to peel off the little paper so it would stick, so that's what I did. And now I want something to go around the top of those banners, so I'm going to get some twine out. And I was looking to see if I had like a dark brown twine, but I, I didn't. I only had like this medium brown. So I'm going to go ahead and use that, and I just wrapped it around like two times, and then I'm going to tie a bow. And it looks kind of funny in a minute because I'm going to push my paper forward. See that? And then you'll see my friend's finger <laughs> appear in the middle of the bow for a second. Um, I asked her to hold the twine down so I could tie the bow. Or you may not have noticed it because it was fast forwarded. It, but just in case you did, you'll know that's why somebody's finger appeared on my layout. <laughs> so I'm gluing down the little bow so that my twine won't, you know, slip and slide around. And now I know it's time to focus on where I'm going to put my photos and the title and little embellishments and things like that. So this is kind of the fun part of the layout. Now that I have the basic, you know, the basic layout done. So I'm using this little kitty cat brad and I thought it was really cute because it's an orange kitty and both my cat and the neighbor cat that's outside is are both orange. And these are the chipboard stickers, and there's three sheets of them, and they're so cute. So I found a cute little cat that reminded me of our cat. So I'm going to stick him down there on the left-hand side. And then I also found um, another little kitty, but I also found a toy. And it's like a stick with a string on it and feathers hanging off of the edge. And I thought that would be really cute. So... I'm going to peel up my kitty cat here and put the toy down and then put the cat underneath it as if he was playing with it. I like doing pet layouts because they're really fun and cartoony. You don't have to like be serious about them, you know? <laughs> it's not like they're going to look at the pages and judge you how you how you, de you designed it. <laughs> my kids may do that, but Pets will never see it. So I pulled out some thickers and none of them really matched well. I didn't have like the right shade of orange. So I'm going to go ahead and use the turquoise stickers that came in the kit or the collection, not kit. And I, I, the only thing I could think of to name this is here kitty kitty as if my cat was calling the other cat. Like here kitty kitty. I'm not real good at titles, so I'm not, I'm not very clever. But it's cute enough. So there's a blank spot there and I wanted to put another kitten there. So I looked for another orange cat and I found this one and thought that was just adorable. And it looks so friendly and cute because it's smiling. And then I put the little heart because the kitties are friends. And that's my layout. So I'll show you some pictures at the end. And thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Mm -hmm.